Okay, so if they're three orthogonal or perpendicular, three perpendicular planes of symmetry, <coughs> then you can go on to say that, and I won't write it all out, I'll just show you the result. So that leaves nine independent constants. Anybody know what this material is called? Huh? Orthotropic? And these, now we're starting to get into more, more common materials. Um, so I said there's nine independent constants, and that would be these guys. For an orthotropic material. So then finally, well not finally, but one more. If there exists an axis about which a material, about meaning rotated about, about which a material has identical properties, then there's five independent constants. And that type of material is called transversely isotropic. And this is pretty common in like composite materials, right? So, so I can draw a picture here. So you had some composite plate. Some, some composite plate that's made up of, say, alternating layers of stiff and compliant material. Uh, and you have some axis, say x3, well, the plane has the, the, the composite will have the same strength in the plane no matter how I pull on it. So if I pull on it this way, or pull on it this way, or pull on it that 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 way, as long as I'm in the plane, right, it's always going to have the same strength. So that's what we mean by if there exists an axis about with material has the identical properties. So the properties in the plane are always the same, okay? But of course, you know, out of the plane deformations would cause, you know, it would be, it would show a different, different strength. So if I were to pull on the material this way, it's going to show a different strength or different set of properties than if I pull on it in the plane, okay? So these are obviously more common, especially with composite materials.